Hello everyone, this is Saurav and welcome to Orissa Post Live and these are today's top headlines. More than 16,000 persons in Odisha have lost their lives due to various disasters in the last five years. Revenue and Disaster Management Minister Sudha Marandi informed the Assembly Thursday. He said that the maximum number of deaths, 7,874, has occurred due to drowning from 2018 to 19 to 2022 to 23. A total of 15 districts in Odisha are prone to earthquakes, Revenue and Disaster Management Minister Sudha Marandi said Thursday in the Odisha Legislative Assembly. The districts that have been classified as moderate earthquake zones as per a report published in the Hazard of Zoning Atlas of India are Puri, Khurda, Kendrapada, Jagatsingpur, Katak, Jajpur, Dhenkanal, Angul, Deogad, Sambalpur, Bargad, Jharsaguda, Sundargad, Balasor and Mayurbhanj. A businessman identified as Nirakar Sahu was shot dead Thursday by unidentified miscreants in Kamakhyanagar locality of Dhenkanal district. Police said that the body of the lease holder of a stone quarry was found near a mango orchard. Nirakar himself, a murder accused, had recently been released from prison on bail. A cyclonic circulation is likely to form over east-central Bay of Bengal in the next 24 hours with chances of intensification the IMD said Thursday morning in its bulletin. Meanwhile, officials of the Regional Meteorological Office in Bhuvaneshwar said that the circulation will intensify in the next 48 hours and is likely to move towards North Odisha. Raurkela SP Mitra Bhanu Mahapatra ordered Thursday a probe into the death of Assistant Collector Shushmita Minz. He informed that DCP-ranked Officer Banita Maji will head the investigation team. Sushmita was found dead in the pond of Sensory Park in Raurkela, September 19. Three persons were killed in two separate road accidents that took place Thursday in Jagatsingpur and Balasar districts. In the first case, two persons were killed when a truck hit their two-wheeler on Paradeep Katak Road. In the second mishap, a youth lost his life after a bus hit from the rear on Jaleshwar Chandaneshwar Road. Renowned agricultural scientist M.S. Swaminathan and a lifelong crusader against hunger who bet on sustainable farming passed away Thursday in Chennai at around 11.15 am. He was 98 and is survived by three daughters including Dr. Somia Swaminathan, the former chief scientist of the WHO. Among others who offered condolences over his demise were President Draupadi Murmu, Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Odisha Chief Minister Navin Patnaik. CBIC Chairman Sanjay Agarwal announced Thursday that the government will implement 28% GST on online gaming beginning October 1. This move comes with the consensus of all states and follows the recent passage of amendments to GST laws in the Lok Sabha. A student from Uttar Pradesh preparing for NEET in Rajasthan's Kota city has died by suicide, police said Thursday. This is the 26th such suicide case in Kota. The student, however, was not associated with any coaching institution, police added. With the BJP giving poll responsibility to its Lok Sabha MP Ramesh Biduri in Rajasthan's Tong Amida Row over his derogatory remarks, BSP lawmaker Danish Ali, the latter said Thursday, that this was akin to rewarding spread of hatred and that the ruling party's true character had been exposed by the move. Ali also said he was hopeful that action would be taken by Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla against Bidhuri. The Indian team comprising of Sarabjot Singh, Arjun Chima and Shiva Narwal narrowly beat the Chinese team by one point to win the gold medal Thursday in the men's 25m air pistol tournament at the Hangzhou Asian Games. This is the fourth gold medal won by the Indian shooters in the continental showpiece. However, all three fizzled out in individual competition. That's all for today's top headlines. Stay tuned to Orissa Post Live.